In today's video, I'm going to give you the seven best dividend ETFs that you can buy from Europe chosen based on a history of high performance and quality dividends. Needless to say, there is going to be some overlap between some of these ETFs, so consider this when you decide which ETFs you want to buy. My name is Rick, and I hope you had a wonderful day today, guys, because life is beautiful. And of course, life is even more beautiful if your portfolio gives you good returns every year. So for this, you just need to subscribe to my channel and you'll always be updated on the best ETFs. But now, let's get right to the ETF Number seven, which has a quite nice dividend yield and is the perfect choice for dividend investors that want to invest in the euro area. The ETF number seven on my list is the Spider S&P Euro Dividend Aristocrats UCITS ETF. This ETF tracks the S&P Euro High Yield Dividend Aristocrats Index, a great basket of 40 companies that are the highest dividend yielding companies in the eurozone and have consistently increased their dividends for at least a decade. So if you are worried about investing in ETFs that give one year high dividends and one year live with empty pockets, this ETF is not going to disappoint you. With a dividend yield hovering around 3.44% this year, this ETF is going to be a reliable source of income. Perfect for funding your next vacation or that coffee addiction you refuse to give up. And with an expense ratio of 0.3%, you can enjoy your dividends without the bad feeling of working for somebody else. Because, hey, this is what a job is for, right? Geographically, this ETF focuses on established companies across Europe, covering a rich range of sectors with a strong focus on financials. You'll find 40 high-quality holdings, including Assicurazioni Generali, Allianz, Elisa, Unipol, I mean, all companies that nobody knows. I'm kidding, they're probably not as known as Apple or Microsoft, but in Europe, who makes money are banks and insurance companies. So you're gonna find a bunch of those. Performance-wise, this ETF has seen an impressive 23.21% return over the past year, 4.87% per year over the last five, and 6.31% over the last 10. 6.31% per year may sound low if you think about the S&P 500, but for dividend investors, finding good dividend ETFs that perform like the total market in the long term is quite hard. In Europe, it's quite undervalued now. What makes this ETF particularly interesting is its aristocratic status. It's not just about collecting dividends, it's about investing in companies that are committed to paying out dividends over the long haul. So, if you're looking for stability wrapped in a classy European package, this ETF is your choice. Next on our list is the Vanek Morningstar Developed Markets Dividend Leaders UCITS ETF. European ETFs always have such a long name, I don't know why. Anyway, if you think the name is long, wait for the name of the underlying index. This ETF tracks the Morningstar Developed Market Large Cap Dividend Leaders Screen Select Index, which serves as a VIP lounge for high dividend payers. This index is quite interesting because it uses quite a lot of good criteria to find the best dividend paying companies. To be included in the index, a company has paid dividends in the past 12 months, the trailing 12 months dividend per share must not be lower than the one of five years ago, the forward dividend payout ratio must be less than 75%, and the company chosen are the 100 with the highest dividend yields. Thanks to this, dividend yield this year has been 4.1%. The expense ratio with 0.38% could be lower, but to make up for this, this ETF has a wonderful average return in the past five years, which is beaten by only one other ETF in this list. So if you get a great total return, the expense ratio becomes secondary. When it comes to holdings, this ETF covers the whole globe, with a strong focus on developed markets like the US with 30%, France with 11%, then Canada, UK, Germany, and so on. You get a broad mix of 100 holdings featuring heavyweights like Verizon, Chevron, Pfizer, Roche, IBM, and some other giants of the industry. Performance-wise, it's been quite a ride, with a stable growth since inception, except for that damn COVID-19. Anyway, over the past 12 months, it delivered 19.65% which is quite impressive. Over the past five years, an average of 11.67%, which again, is more than most dividend ETFs give. And since inception in 2016, an average of 10.34%. What makes this ETF particularly appealing is its balanced approach to dividend investing. You get really high dividends of over 4%, but it also crushed it with the performance in the last 10 years. What do you want more? So, if you want a nice blend of reliability and potential growth in your portfolio, 
this ETF is a great option. Now, before moving to ETF number five, I want to introduce you to a great European platform for the bond market. You might be a safe investor if you're a dividend investor, but bonds are still a really important part of an investor's portfolio. This is Bondfish. Bondfish aggregates over 21,000 government and corporate bonds tradable across European and US markets. Once you sign up, you can use the bond screener totally for free so there is no cost for you. This tool helps you filter bonds based on your criteria. Keep in mind though, Bondfish is not a trading platform. It's a screener, but it displays the brokers who have the bonds that you look for. Currently, nine brokers are integrated, including popular ones like Interactive Brokers, Trade Republic, and The Giro. Bondfish offers more filters than typical broker platforms, making it a convenient choice to use for bond-seeking investors. For instance, many bonds trade in larger nominations, but with the screener, you can focus on bonds available in smaller, more affordable amounts. You can also sort bonds by yield to find those with highest returns. A standout feature is filtering by the issuer's credit worthiness, which is crucial for bond investing. Plus, you can see the additional return each bond offers compared to local bank deposits. Clicking on a bond reveals detailed information including yield and price charts and an overview of the issuing company. If you prefer expert recommendations over spending time selecting bonds yourself, you can explore Bondfish's bond picks, which are backed by detailed analysis by Bondfish's team of seasoned analysts, who bring over a decade of experience from investment banks with focus on international bond markets. After signing up for free, you'll have access to one feature bond to try it out. For the complete list of recommendations, you can upgrade to the premium plan. So, check out the link to Bondfish that you will find in the description and in the comments below. Now let's dive into our number five, the Fidelity US Quality Income UCITS ETF. And this ETF tracks the Fidelity US Quality Income Index, which is probably the index with the shortest name in Europe, and it contains high quality dividend paying companies. And the Fidelity US Quality Income ETF is the one with the lowest expense ratio on the list with only 0.25%, and also the one with the highest long-term performance. So you're going to get the highest total returns that you can get from a dividend ETF in Europe with the lowest cost. In return, unfortunately, the dividend yield is a bit lower than the others with 1.77%. So you have to decide what matters most for you. If you don't need excessive dividends and you want to focus more on growth, this is certainly your best choice. Focusing mainly on US companies, this ETF features a lineup of top tier players like Nvidia, Apple, Microsoft, Broadcom, Eli Lilly, Visa, Mastercard. And if we see the sector exposure, we understand right away why this ETF has had the highest returns. Technology is the largest sector with 31.8%. Think of it as the best mix between growth and dividends. The best companies around that also pay dividends to investors. In terms of performance, the last 12 months have given a monstrous total return of 32.4%, which is so over the moon that I don't think we'll see it again in any ETF anytime soon. In the past five years, instead, the total return averaged 13.82% per year, which again is unbelievable. What makes this ETF particularly interesting is its focus on quality over quantity. It filters out the noise, ensuring that only the most dependable dividend payers make the cut. If you are someone who values growth and seeks dividends without the drama, this ETF is a wonderful choice. Next in line is the Spider S&P Global Dividend Aristocrats UCITS ETF. This ETF tracks the S&P Global Dividend Aristocrats Index, which only includes high dividend yielding companies that have increased or maintained dividends for at least 10 consecutive years. And have positive return on equity and cash flow from operations. With a dividend yield of 3.61%, you can rest assured that you're making a wise choice that won't leave you scrambling for pennies, even though this comes at a price of 0.45% per year, which unfortunately is one of the highest on the list. If we check the performance, this ETF delivered 28.9% in the last year, 5.03% per year in the last five, and 4.91% in the last 10. So, a consistent growth in the long term, start by an above average 2024, which has been stellar for the whole stock market. This ETF covers the whole developed world, with an overweight in the US, followed by Canada, Switzerland, and Japan. It includes a wide array of sectors with a clear focus on financials, utilities, and real estate. With about 97 holdings, you'll find names like Highwoods Properties, Solvay, KTNG, LTC, and many other companies that most people don't know. Ah, 
Here's Verizon. I know this one. What sets this ETF apart beyond the global coverage is the impressive track record and commitment to reward shareholders for the long term with dividends. It's not just about receiving dividends, it's about investing in companies that give consistent payouts. Let's get now to our top three. And in position number three, we find the iShares Stocks Global Select Dividend 100 UCITS ETF. This ETF tracks the Stocks Global Select Dividend 100 Index, showcasing the top 100 high dividend yielding stocks from around the world. Basically, the all-star team of dividends. With a juicy yield of almost 5%, receiving a beautiful paycheck every three months really feels good. And although the total expense ratio of this ETF is the highest on the list, with 0.49%, the high dividend yield easily helps for getting the costs if you're a dividend investor. Covering both developed and emerging markets, this ETF is beautifully exposed to most countries with 19.58% in the US, 15% in Hong Kong, 12% in Australia, and so on. Inside, you'll find a bunch of companies that I'm not gonna mention because you probably don't know them. And if you do, congratulations because I don't. But this doesn't matter because we invest in ETFs also because we don't want the headache to have to know every single company. So let's move right away to the performance, which in the last 12 months has been impressive with around 19.95% returns. In five years, the ETF returned instead 6.1% per year, while in the 10 years, 6.57%. If we take a longer time frame, which starts at the inception at the end of 2009, the ETF gave an annualized return per year of 8.93% which is quite nice. If you're someone who enjoys a touch of international flair in their portfolio, with a good distribution within the countries, which might come in handy now that the US market is incredibly overvalued, and you want high dividends of about 5%, this ETF is your best investing buddy. Next up is the Spider S&P US Dividend Aristocrats UCITS ETF. This ETF, like many other ETFs in Europe, can be found as USD unhedged, or euro hedged. And since this is something important to know for European investors, I want to take a moment to explain the difference. USD unhedged ETFs are denominated in euros, but their underlying assets are in US dollars. This means the ETF investor is exposed to the fluctuations between the euro and USD exchange rates. If the USD appreciates against the euro, the ETF's value rises in euro terms, and vice versa. Euro hedged ETFs instead attempt to eliminate the currency risk using forward contracts or options. USD unhedged ETFs are better if the US dollar rises against Euro, while hedged ETFs are better if you think that the US dollar will lose value against the Euro. An advantage of unhedged ETFs is that they typically have lower expense ratios because they don't need to engage in hedging strategies. But a disadvantage is that you have the currency risk because you are exposed to volatility from exchange rate fluctuations. There is so much to say about hedged or unhedged ETFs, so ask me whatever you want in the comments, or maybe in the future I can make a video about it if there is enough interest. Coming back to the ETF, the Spider S&P US Dividend Aristocrats UCITS ETF is dedicated to dividend aristocrats of the S&P Composite 1500 Index, which are companies that have increased dividends every year for at least 20 consecutive years. So what you're going to find here, and by the way, this is one of the reasons why this ETF wins position number two, is a wonderful pack of companies that have both capital growth and dividend income characteristics, as opposed to stocks that are pure yield or pure capital oriented. And the fact that they increase their dividends for over 20 years gives an additional stability advantage, which is extremely valuable. I mean, 20 years, talk about loyalty, huh? And this is a kind of commitment that you usually want in a marriage. With a yield around 1.94% and an expense ratio of 0.35%, you don't have the greatest yield in the list, but you have the stability of it. Talking about performance, check this out. 26.21% in one year, which is crazy, 9.23% per year in the past five, and 9.97% per year in the past 10. And all of these choosing only companies that are dividend aristocrats and giving 2% yield per year. The ETF focuses on US companies and features names like Realty Income, Canview, IMB, Excel, Chevron, AppV, and many more. As you can see, 
industrials, consumer staples and utilities are the main sectors. And that's a good thing considering that they are certainly not the most overvalued sectors at the moment. This ETF is a solid choice for anyone looking to add a little bit of stability to their investment portfolio while investing in the US, which is still one of the most promising countries, even despite the huge amount of debt it's creating. By the way, if you're interested, just last week I published an interesting video about the US national debt and how it's going to influence the US economy and stock market in the years to come. If you're an investor, even if you come from Europe, I believe this video is going to be really interesting for you. So check it out from the link in the description below. Our ETF number one, in my opinion, the best dividend ETF overall for European investors is the Vanguard FTSE All World High Dividend Yield UCITS ETF. It's a bit of a mouthful, but trust me, this one is worth sticking around for. Whether you're after steady income or just love watching your investments send you regular checks, the ETF is probably going to be your new best friend. The ETF follows the FTSE All World High Dividend Yield Index. And what does this index do? It hunts for la creme de la creme of dividend paying stocks from across the globe. 1,990 companies to be precise. The ETF is all about identifying large and mid-sized companies, excluding REITs, in developed and emerging markets that pay dividends that are generally higher than average. What this meant in the last 12 months was a 2.94% dividend yield, which is not the highest on the list, but the strong point of this ETF is the great global diversification and the stability over time. The expense ratio is a good, acceptable 0.29% and is covered by a really good performance of 21.6% in the last 12 months, 55.69% in the last five years, which translates to 9.26% per year and 143.8% since inception in 2013, which translates to 8.44% per year. When it comes to what's inside this ETF, Think of it like opening up a treasure chest. With this fund, you're getting exposure to global giants. Holdings like Broadcom, JP Morgan, ExxonMobil, Procter & Gamble, Johnson & Johnson, Home Depot. I mean, I could keep going forever, but there are over 1,100 stocks, so I'd better stop. The country composition has a good overweight in the US, followed by Japan, UK, and Switzerland. If you're after high dividends, a globally diversified portfolio, and an ETF with low costs, this could be the partner you've been searching for. Let me know if you enjoyed this video with a beautiful like and comment with where you come from and your favorite ETF. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's free and packed with videos for all kinds of investors. And to conclude, thank you for being here. Have a great evening. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.